Hey guys, Jamie, and today we're going to go over Colossotrops, one of the new fossil Lumines. It is probably the best fossil, and not just that, it's probably one of the best Lumines in the game. It is super scary, it does a fat amount of damage against basically anything in the game, so very scary, but is a little bit difficult to use. But anyway, before I jump into the video, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, it helps me out a lot. And if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We are getting very close to 100k now, and we're getting closer every single day, it's actually unbelievable but yeah but anyway let's hop into the video now okay then so going over colossal chops then i am running the secret ability one i know it's super rare so if you want to say like a frail ammo one or a staunch one later in a separate video let me know in the comments down below i might eventually do one of those uh but yeah i actually revived six secret ability colossal chops and i finally got the brawny to harmonize the other five just didn't which sucks but anyway running brawny you could run brawny sluggish if you want bane of haste but that means you also have to get zero speed ups or one U uh, up on speeds uh, for the item, I'm running Volcanic Ash, you'll see why from my ability, because I'm running the secret ability, just make it hit as physically hard as possible, because it's, it's the wall break in Colossal Trops. If you're running the, um, the Bane of Haste one, like the super slow one, you could technically put Thunder Orb on it to paralyze it to make it even slower, but that comes like a 1 in 4 chance of you just get fully paralyzed for the turn and not do anything, so it's very risky, so I feel like Volcanic Ashes is just better. So the ability is called Vigorous, basically if Colossotrops has a status ailment like burn, poison, freeze, pa uh, paralyze, whatever basically, your melee attack stat is boosted by 50%, a 1.5 times boost which is really good and Volcanic Cash is just there so we can actually guarantee that we get our uh, status ailments without like waiting and chancing it for someone to burn us which would be terrible. But yeah, on that low for the moves we have Timber Thrash and Primal Slash. These are our two main stab moves. Timber Fresh is the hardest hitting plant type move in the game. Tata would kill for this thing. It ain't getting it okay for at least for a long time. Primal Slash is here for mostly Obsidragons. I mean, we can actually two hit KO defensive Obsidragons with the Vigorous and maybe a Bulk Pipe thing, but still. It's one of like the few melee attackers that can actually deal with Obsidragon that like, isn't Garbantis really. Like, it's super good for that. I mean, yeah, you could beat Obsidragon with like range attackers, but. Having a melee attacker that can actually deal with it, we finally have one of them. Like, it's really, really good. The last move that I have is uh, Earthquake. You could run Mega Chomp. Mega Chomp is alright, I guess, on it, like, unless you hit like a lot of plant types, I guess. But Earthquake, I think, is better because these two moves, your stab moves, can't hit metal types, really. So I personally prefer Earthquake, and it lets you hit um, poison types as well, on top of that, I guess, as well. And the last move is Bulk Up. Make yourself even stronger if you get like the right opportunity for it. And then for the TPs. 24 speed, uh, by the way, I haven't actually sharded it yet, unfortunately I kind of forgot to shard it, so in these videos that you, or for the battles you'll see in, this, in a second, uh, uh, yeah, I forgot to shard it completely, so, oops, but, oh well, it still does really, really good. Uh, 24 speed with 40 UPs on the speed will let you outspeed the very bulky Obsidragons that run sluggish with, like, zero speed investment, so that is really, really nice. The, uh, 200 melee attack, basically, paired with, like, the, uh, Vigorous, paired with Brawny, paired with Volcanic Ash, just to let you hit as physically hard as possible, to just wall break as more like consistent as possible. 192 health, uh, level 50, just to, like maximize your health, but make sure that you're also odd number of health as well, not even. Because if you're even a number amount of health, because you are weak to Isaac traps, it's just more beneficial to have it as an odd number. Uh, so that's just that why we have 192, not 200. And then we have 60 energy, which um, at level 50 gives you 270 energy. Which means you can go for a bulk up and four timber thrashes. Or you can go for three timber thrashes and two primal slashes, which is also nice. And the rest is just leftovers, so you can either slap them into ranged defense or your melee defense. I put mine to melee defense. It seems to just be more beneficial, really, because you aren't really going to swap this thing to like range attackers. But yeah, basically, I want to like also mention this really quick as well. For closer traps, you can't just willy nilly send it out into the battle. And expect it to do something yes it can hit really freaking hard but you have to be very careful about it it's like you can only send it out into a very like few amount of lumines or you bring it out like revenge kill something like for example it has like, a lot of good resist like it quad resists water quad resists bu uh, um, not bug uh plant which is really really good so you can swap it into like a luminami luminami you quad resist water you immune to light malmerk quad resist water quad resist plants Although, like, they do have, like, their own issues. Luminami might have a uh, Sleet Shot. Malmuk might have Mega Chomp. So, I mean, there's still, like, a little bit of worries. And the Cloth Drops has a lot of weaknesses. But once you actually get this thing under the field, nothing wants to swap into it. And I mean, nothing really wants to swap into it. So, the entire point of Cloth Drops and how you want to use it is, once you can actually get into the field, you basically KO something that is a very, very big threat, like Obsidragon, for example. And then it, you will usually get Revenge Killed 
instantly after that. So it'll, it'll be like, it'll powerhouse, it'll take something down, and then it'll usually generally die after it, because it hasn't got any, like, health recovery on it right now. So the only way they can actually heal it is by health gifting it with, like, a Gobidemic. But anyway, that being said, hop into the battle now, then. Okay, then. First battle, we finally got the secret build to, uh, Ceratot Evolution. It took so long. I rallied, like, 400 fossils, although three of them were kind of spawned in. I got six secret abilities, and, all, and five of them didn't harmonize. So I finally got one, though. And I see a Mawamuk, so hopefully it actually brings it, but... The rest of the team looks really, really scary, so I feel like this might not be the best battle, but I will gladly show you exactly like, kind of how it's meant to work. Okay. I'm going to lead off with Vesperato, I think. I, I, I think. Okay, Len. So, Len, for your Colossal Trops, you aren't really meant to be sending it out straight away and expecting it to sweep. Sure, it might sweep some teams. A very big emphasis on some teams. For, the, for like your cephalops, or your, not your cephalops, I keep I keep wanting to call it cephalops. For your colossotrops, you basically want to send it out against something like a luminami, because luminami has like water that you quad resist, or light that you're immune because you're a plant type, or like mawamurk, which is why I was glad that you actually had a mawamurk. And you meant to like basically, you're, you're a wall break. You meant to like break one wall, like obsidragon, mawamurk, like I guess um, luminami as well. And then you're meant to like get revenge killed instantly because you haven't got like health right now on it. Uh, we're gonna just click Metal Blast and just do some damage. They swap out. Is it Malmurk? I really hope it is. It's actually Ikazune. Well, I kind of wish I clicked a Raging Howl, but that's fine. For the Ikazune, we can go straight into my uh, Meditoad. Can't really go into Colossal Trops. Like, yeah, we quad resist fire, uh, uh, electric, but I don't want to swap it into like a fire move because. No, like, range defense, really. Fun Strike, a Garden. Thank you very much, man. So, I'm going to try and get the Colossal Trops actually in, though, so I can get my Volcanic Ashes to work, because I am running the Secret Ability one, which you don't exactly need to, but let's be honest, if you want to, like, a break to Wall Break, like, really effectively, you kind of want the Secret Ability, which is actually now good that the uh, Colossal Trops evolution line is a lot easier to get now, and Secret Abilities as a whole are just way easier to get. That's a pretty good balance uh, update, or a um, quality of life update, so I'm really glad about that. Swapping now into the Garbantis. That is not a good swap, man. This is deads. Yep, you love to see it. Come on, give me the Mawamurk, man. Throw in the Mawamurk. I'm going to go straight into my Colossal Trops, get my Volcanic Ashes to burn me, and then I'm going to start... I, I can go for, like, one bulk up and just start spamming any move I want, okay? Come on. Do it. Show me the Mawamurk. If you don't have it, I swear, you. if you don't have it. There we are. So it has got Mega Chomp, which we're, we're fine about. Also, it has got Aqua Jaws, which can lower our melee defense, but we should be fine because Quadrasis Water, Quadrasis Plants, very nice. They're going to go for the Aqua Jaws, which I mean, yeah, I mean, six damage. Our melee defense does drop, but we can just go straight for a... Um, a... Uh, actually, we don't, we don't really need to go for a bulk up. I could also just click Earthquake predicting the Ikazune, but I'm going to go for a bulk up because I think we can, tank, we can tank one. And actually, they stay in, so I'll take that. So now we're plus one attack, and we get another 50% boost from our ability. So nice. Critical hit. That really sucks. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we basically like one hit kill the Mawamuk now, okay? I could go for the Timber Thrash, but I'm going to click Primal Slash just in case Ikazune swaps in. Because, uh, just, like, make sure I don't take too much recoil, because, like I said, you can't really heal in your Colossal Trops. Oh, there's my Wilmerk. Yeah, and now it's getting two hit KO'd. Love, love to see it. And also, you do get chipped by your own, uh, burn, unfortunately, but it's very nice. So, if I actually click Timber, I think that actually would have KO'd him, but it's fine. Just gonna to KO it. Although, because I got Gobidemic on my team, I can Health Gift into my Colossal Trops and get it healthy again. And that's like the only way they can really heal Colossal Trops right now. Also, the tail's like touching me. Leave me alone, man. So yeah, see you later, Malmuk. We're pretty low, but hey, we beat the wall. If they went for like a, a heal, like photosynthesis, I could have gone for another bulk up. Although that crit really kind of mattered because I could have lived another one of those pretty easily. You're still actually going to come out. Oh, is he going to chase down? Please don't chase down. Please don't chase down. Please don't chase down. Please don't chase down. I want to like health get back into this later if I if I can. I mean, I probably have like okay, they don't they don't click click chase down. I like that. So yeah, Malmuk is like a really good example. Um, I feel like he probably should have gone into the Ikazune, but 
I'm alright with that. Okay, then. Sort down my Dark Essence, that's fine. So, yeah, Cluster Drops is also, like, pretty slow, so it's kind of, like, difficult to, like, get it to outspeed things, but my gosh does it, like, hit super hard once once it gets going. Like, once it gets going, it's like kind of like a trumble. It's kind of, like, hard to stop it, because you can't really swap anything into it. Oh, yeah, that is not a good swap, man. I can just show it now. That's the Ikazune did. Um, because nothing wants to really swap into a Colossal Trops. So that's why, like, oh, it breaks a wall, or you basically have to sacrifice something completely to Colossal Trops, unless you, like, predict the right move or they go for a ball cut. But after that, then you can revenge kill it. Uh, unless you're someone like me, and I have my, um... And then I have, um... The what? The, uh, health gift as well, so... I got that to work with as well, which I like. Um, we're gonna save the Vesper out, so there's no point really like sacrificing it now. I'm gonna go to Gobidemic and I'm gonna try and get my Colossotrops back in because Bloat, I mean, yeah, it has Venom Chomp, but it's a melee attacker, so we should be fine for it. And we're just gonna click a, a move. Oh, Poison, that is not that great. We're gonna click Health Gift. I don't care, man. I'm gonna go back into my Colossotrops, uh, which unfortunately does mean that you can't run an item on Colossotrops. You're kind of like limited to the Volcanic Ash or. I guess you could run power, uh, the um, Paralysis Orb, if you want to run like Bane of Haste one, so it's up to you, but yeah. Anyway, into the Colosso, and then now we're going to start nuking something. Who wants to swap into a Timber Thrash? Probably nothing. Actually, we could have Earthquake. I think Earthquake is probably better, right? Let me think. 120 or 90, but this gets doubled to 180. This just gets like a, what, 25% boost, so I think Earthquake is better. Does it one-shot it? I mean, it, he's gonna outspeed me, but what's swapping into a Colossal Trops? Eurosol, if it's not terrifying, which he does, I could have clicked Primal Slash. Earthquake, yeah, that, that does a lot of damage, and I, I like I said, I think I can actually tank a hit, so I'm just gonna Primal Slash. I can click two more Primal Slashes, so yeah, slap down, I mean, yeah, rip my Volcanic Ash, and we actually live a hit from a sharp... Um, what is it, Sharp Claws? Yeah, it's probably a Sharp Claws, your soul if it's not terrifying. And there we are. Your soul is now dead, like, yes. It's most like, just, you have to revenge kill it. Like, you can't really swap out really anything too much into it. Unless, like, you get, like, a good prediction, like, what move they're going to be using. Like, Earthquake for me there. I mean, it was a pretty obvious one, but I'm just going to click it again. Because it could have swapped out, and you, whatever. I guess I could have just clicked uh, Timber Thrash, and that would have technically been the, the safest move overall, because if your soul swapped into that, that would have definitely would have died, I'm pretty sure, because way more powerful uh, for like a neutral hit. So yeah, anyway, Colossal Chops is probably going to go down here, unfortunately. I'm actually going to click Rejuvenate. Well, I clicked Earthquake. This is going to do a lot of damage, right? Oh, oh no, it doesn't do a Sorry, not a lot of damage. A butt ton of damage. <laughs> and I live on one, so I get a flail, I guess. Or I get a waste of energy a little bit. So I love to see it, man. Colossal Chops is so good. And its design is like insane as well. Or just a flail. If I like had a priority move, that would be nice. Oh, he let his guard down to rest? Big, big mistake, man. <laughs> he rested so my flail KO'd him. Nice. Well, there's Colossal Chops. It did basically all the work in that battle. I love to see it. It's mostly just the Garbantis that can actually tank decently, I guess, for that. But yeah, let's hop into another battle, though. Oh, Kaelin, hopping into the second battle. I see another Mawa Merc. We just gotta basically hope that they bring it, because if they don't, this the rest of the team looks kind of scary, and everything kind of outspeeds me. So, uh, yeah, the, the Mawa Merc is the only thing that I can really bring it into. Although, they have their own Colossal Trop, so I wonder if it's a secret ability one. Also, this is a Bacon here, so I think it's an alt account that's just trolling, so interesting. I guess we'll bring the Vesperatu, because why not? I don't really like have anything else to really bring. So, I'll leave it for the bug this time, I think, just like try and get some massive damage on something. If it leaves a Colosso, that'd be great. It's actually Joltooth Fleet. Okay, um... I think I can I can stay in against Joltooth, but we have Garbantis, so I mean... Why would I ever make that play when I can just swap into that? Because, I mean, they're gonna click an electric move, right? Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't they? So now I gotta go for a... Whatever the heck I want. I could go for Clay Slap if I really want to. I could go for Battering Ram. I'm gonna click, um, Poison, because I want to say that the Falkyrie would come out here, because they have a Falkyrie. Right. Actually, Mawa Merc. Um, I'll take that. So they actually have the Mawa Merc, which is actually great. So another Mawa Merc, back to back. I haven't seen a Mawa Merc for ages. 
two in one in one video. Love to see it. Colossal Trops is going straight in, and we're not going to click a bulk up. We're just going to click um, Timber Thrash because I want to see how much it does to like a Mawamuk, and it's actually a range attacking one, which is great because it can't really hit me. That although does kind of suck, but I think we should be fine because we quad resist both of its stabs anyway. We got Burnt. I'm going to just click um, Timber Thrash here because I'm predicting them. Actually, let's stay in. Oh, they actually have Mega Charm. Uh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't really do that much. Well, we KO'd Mowamurk in one hit, basically. Poison just took them out. Bro, I mean, what? This thing is nuts. And Mowamurk is already dead. Colossal, Colossal Trops already did its job. It broke one of their walls, and it did it pretty well. Actually, it's a tank mute gun. Okay, interesting. Maybe it's not an alt account. Uh, I thought it kind of would have been. Um, we have Vesper out too far, Mutagon, so this is like an easy swap out. And then we just click slap down, removing Cephalops item, I want to say. Uh, Mutagon, Frostbeam, hehe. <laughs> Not gonna go into- oh, actually, no. They would have clicked that for the, uh, Colossotrops. Well, I click slap down here. There's no point really, um, clicking Spirit Move, because they have Falkyrie. And yeah, that is why you'd never swap in a Falkyrie against a Vesper Atu. I'm not gonna click- a spirit type against uh, Mutagon. I'm just gonna slap his item off first, and if, if you swap out, I knock anything else's item off, so see you later. That's really, really good. Um, we don't really, really have speed Jolto for Mutagon, so we're kind of like, kind of already done. Deladrix, I don't think we tank a hit from that either, really. Shakedown, okay, nice. Dark Essence is fine. We might as well save the Vesper to. We might as well go into our own Deladrix. Makes sense, right? Go to our own. I have Venom Trump to like try and 1v1 this other Deladrix. We'll see how well it goes. Parasitize a Garden. That might still do a bit of damage. Yeah. <laughs> it might still do a little bit of damage. We'll go for the Venom. So we know their entire team. No Cephalops and no... I forgot the other one that they brought, but that's fine. Jawtooth, that's fine as well. Um, We're just gonna... Click Douse actually here because we don't really need the Deladrix that much. I don't think we have we have Gobademic if as long as I don't health gift it, <laughs> so we should be good. Just gonna Douse. It actually critical hits the Jaw Tooth. This is a very quick battle. I can say that they have a Mutagon and a Deladrix left, um, and none of them really want to swap into the Deladrix because yeah, Mutagon. I have Ferroblast. They're gonna kill me, but I'm not swapping out here. I'm just gonna click Ferroblast, do some damage. I mean, I could have clicked Venom Chomp, but actually, no way. Uh, I guess I should click Douse because um, my Water Essence. I kind of forgot about that. Because Bug isn't super effective on Mutagon. I forgot that Brawler resists it. Not gonna lie. Kind of forgot about that. Well, we gotta go into um, Vesperato. Or actually, Mutagon as well. Uh, Gobademic, I mean, for the Mutagon. But we'll go into Vesperato. We'll click um, Shadows. Uh, sprint or phantom slash here so we can just like start doing fat damage because like I said I've really already done like a damage calculation on the um, Deladrix. Vesperato does a lot of damage to it still. A lot of damage even though it's not like it's not um, super effective it just does so much damage. Okay Deladrix, how's it going man? Shakedown, you already know what my item is man. Leave me alone. He probably outspeeds me so I'm just gonna go for the shadow sprints. Oh, and hey, a Grubby is acting strangely nice. I'd love to see a Grubby, man. Give me the pro pairs. Yep, half health, a Gardam. Oh, it's actually a melee at No. Wait. No, it no it's, it's a melee attacking one. I didn't realize that the, the first time. I kind of want to say I outspeed it. I might as well just click it. Okay, we actually outspeed it. Nice. Well, nice. See you later, Deladrix. And that's already the battle. Let's try and hop into another one. Okay then, third battle, and this is probably going to be our last one, I just asked chat, yo, if you got an Obsidragon, I kind of want to battle you, okay, because I mean, we, we this is meant to be like, wall breaking Obsidragon, okay, this is like our, basically like our first melee attacker that can just completely destroy Obsidragon, it don't care about it, so I'm going to try and get one, okay, and I see an Eliguan, if they bring it, great, quad resist electric, immune to light, love to see it, I need this, but at the same time, okay, I'm sorry, I, I can't bring you, I need this for the Zulong, and we'll lead off with uh, Vesperatu, I guess. Okay, then. Hopefully he actually brings the Obsidragon, because that would suck if he doesn't. Lead off with the Zulong, that is fine. Uh, I lead off with the wrong Lumion, so uh, I should just lead off with the Meditoad, because Meditoad, if it's a great matchup, I'm getting some free KOs, I don't even care. But yeah, straight to Meditoad, go for the Elemental Burst, that is fine. 
Um, wasn't really worth staying in because I just get one-shotted. We go for the cycle slap. Something is dying now, okay? Dodge? Dodge? You're gonna use dodge on me? How dare you? Well, I'm still clicking it, man. I don't care. Uh, you might think you're safe. Okay, I actually just ain't. Okay. Probably gonna go into, I wanna say to clips here. Or, no, I, I wanna say to clips. Minus one, okay, it might tank it pretty well, but if you didn't ancient raw me, it was still gonna nuke you, okay? Is it to clips? Tatab? Oh, no, that is definitely the wrong thing to swap in. Yeah, that is why you don't swap in a Tatab against a, a Meditoad. It never works, it never works. Come on, man, show me that Obsidian gun, because as soon as you show it me, I am getting my, my um, Colossal Trops out here, okay? I could just click bulk upon it, but I gotta be careful for... The Zulong, obviously. Oh, it's actually a circadian to clips again. Nice, that's fine. Just gonna cycle slop again. He has a raging howl. I kind of should have saved the Meditoad for the Zulong, but I think we should be fine to try and deal with it with the rest of my team. I hope. Okay, now let's say a dark type. We're gonna go into uh, Vesperatu. Wait a minute. If we went to Vesperatu, do I outspeed it? I'm not running max speed on it, so I want to say I don't outspeed it. So I feel like Garbantis is actually better to swap into it. I can't really go into my Colossal Trops against the Eclipse. Even though it can be a light type, Raging Howl is going to do a butt, like an absolute butt turn. So we aren't going to swap into that, okay? Because our range defense doesn't really exist, but our melee defense, on the other hand, though, we can take a couple of hits, okay? I don't care. Baron Graham, see you later, Eclipse. Uh, this should be fine, Eclipse. Uh, so, Zulong Tatab to Clips. What else do they have? I really hope they have the Obsidian Gun. That's like the only thing I really care about for this specific battle, to be honest. Vesperatu, that is not good. Vesperatu is now. Well, Vesperatu is technically already a vampire. It's meant to be dead already, but now it's extra dead, okay? We'll, we'll put it that way. It is now extra dead. That was not a brilliant swap out. Please tell me you have the Obsidian Gun. There we are. He has the Obsidian Gun. I love to see it, man. I love to see it. Let's go into our Colossal Trops. Um, I don't feel like you should really swap a Colossal Trops into an Obsidian. Usually it's meant to go like the opposite way around, because look at how hard this is going to actually hit. Like, it can free hit KO me. Um, and although with the burn, actually, it might be able to um, do me again. But anyway, so my speed stat is specifically for Sluggish Obsidian. I have a feeling it's probably not running that one, so I'm just going to Primal Slash. And let's see how much we actually deal to it. Don't crit me, please. Thank you. That actually didn't do as much as the first one. Why? Oh, well. Anyway, Primal Slash. Well, um, fun fact. That wasn't a melee defensive one. Um, if it has melee defense, it can two-shot it. It wasn't meant to one-shot it. So that means it was probably like a range one. Or it just wasn't invested at all. I probably want to say it wasn't invested at all. Okay, well here, um, I... I'm gonna just lose Colossal Trops here because we're just gonna click uh, Earthquake here. Right, Raging Howl, yep, that's fine. We're gonna chip him a little bit low, so yeah, Colossal Trops. Completely destroyed that Obsidragon, like I said. It was a defensive one, and like I also said, you're not really meant to swap Colossal Trops into an Obsidragon. It's mostly meant to be like the other way around, like, oh, Colossal Trops is on the field, it might actually get on the field finally, which it has a lot of weaknesses, by the way. It's kind of like hard to actually get it in. Uh, it's like a revenge killer, or just bring it on like a Maomuk or a Luminama. It's so like, you're like, oh, well, there's Colossal Trops. Before I start setting up, let me go into my uh, Obsidian, my melee wall. And then Colossal Trops just two shots it. That's like the ideal. You know what I mean? It's like swap it into it, because then you get like potentially two shot back, which is scary. So uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I guess we'll go into Garabantus here. And we should be able to just clean this up pretty quickly. So yeah, there's Colossal Trops a little bit, basically. It is pretty scary. It is a very good Lumion, but... You have to be careful with it. You can't just like send it out, unga bunga brain, click move, and win the battle. You have to be like very conservative of it and like know when to exactly use it. Because if you lose health on it, you're not gonna you're not getting health back on it unless you health get, which then you're sacrificing a Lumion like Gobademic. So you have to play very carefully with it. Do I outspeed it? No. Okay. Well, do I get one shot by Zulong or not? I feel like I do because I'm foolish, aren't I? Oh, I actually, live it. Nice. Please just one shot it, and it doesn't rip. Well. Shadow Sprints, Vespera 2, I think should be fine, okay. I should have actually clay slapped it, because then I would have outsped it. I just clicked to move, so uh, yeah. There's that, that's fine. Actually, they're out of energy, so um, yeah. Sorry, Vespera, uh, sorry, Zulong, but uh, 
This trash is gonna just KO you now, okay? See you later. And I think that should be all of them now. Tatab got one shotted, Vesperatu got one shotted, Obsidragon got one shotted. You can see a theme here. My team has like quite a lot of very hard hitters now. Meditoad, um, my Vesperatu also is a pretty hard hitter, but not quite as hard as like Meditoad. Uh, I've got the Garbantus and now the Colossotrops. Oh boy, but that, yeah, there's the Colossotrops. Hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.